Ultrasonic machining. Ultrasonic machining process is a non-conventional machining process used for machining both conducting and non-conducting hard and brittle materials, which otherwise cannot be machined using conventional machining process. As the name suggests, this process makes use of ultrasonic vibration in the range of 20 to 30 kilohertz. Ultrasonic wave is defined as inaudible sound with high frequency for humans, the frequency of which generally exceeds 20 kHz. This high-frequency vibration combined with slurry, suspended with abrasive particles, is used for machining. To understand the ultrasonic machining process, watch this video till the end. This video will cover the following about the ultrasonic machining process. 1. Working principle. 2. Construction. 3. Working. 4. Parameter affecting the machining process. 5. Advantages and disadvantages. 6. Application. Working principle. The transducer produces the vibration of the tool tip, which is of the same shape as the cavity has to be generated on the material. As the tool vibrates, it is pressed lightly on the work surface, as the abrasive slurry is supplied between the tool tip and the workpiece interface. Thus, the high kinetic energy of vibration is transmitted to these abrasive particles, as these particles impinge the workpiece surface, material is removed through abrasion at microscopic level. Construction. An ultrasonic machine consists of following parts. Power supply. High frequency generator. Electromechanical transducer. Ultrasonic amplitude transformer, which is also called as horn. Tool holder. Tool. Abrasive slurry. Pump. Nozzle. Before knowing the working of this entire ultrasonic machine, let us see the function of each part. Power supply. Ultrasonic machining process requires alternating current power supply, generally of 50 to 60 Hz. High frequency generator. The high frequency generator, also called as ultrasonic power supply or electronic oscillator, is used to convert conventional electrical supply, typically 50 Hz or 60 Hz, to high-frequency electrical energy. Frequencies of 20 to 40 kHz are the most commonly used and then supplied to electromechanical transducers. Electromechanical transducer. The electromechanical transducer converts this high-frequency energy into mechanical vibration. Ultrasonic amplitude transformer, which is also called as horn, the vibration amplitude generated from the transducer, with the limit being approximately 0.025 mm, is not adequate for machining. An ultrasonic amplitude transformer is used to increase the vibration amplitude. It also guides and focuses the vibration towards the tool tip. Tool holder. Tool holder is used to grip the tool. Tool. Tool is often made of strong, tough, and brittle material which does not fail under brittle fracture and ductile, such as tungsten carbide, stainless steel, titanium, copper. Tools manufactured is in the same shape as the cavity need to be created on the workpiece surface. Slurry. The slurry consisting of hard abrasive particles, generally silicon carbide, boron carbide, and alumina mixed with water or oil, is provided constantly at the machining area. Pump. Pump is used to supply abrasive slurry at machining area, working. When an AC supply is provided to the high-frequency generator, it amplifies the frequency of the input supply up to 20 to 40 kHz. This high-frequency input supply is fed to the electromechanical transducer, which converts this energy into an ultrasonic vibration, thus making the tool to vibrate in longitudinal direction. The horn is the intermediary between the transducer and the tool holder, the horn is used to amplify the amplitude of the vibration generated by the transducer and then guides and focuses these vibrations onto the tool. The tool holder grips the tool as it vibrates. As the tool vibrates, the abrasive slurry is fed, with the help of pump, at a constant rate between the tool and workpiece surface. Thus, as the tool vibrates, the abrasive particle impinge on the workpiece surface and due to abrasion the material is removed. Parameter affecting the metal removal rate. MRR. Material removal rate is inversely proportional to the cutting area of the tool. Vibrations also affect the removal rate. 
The type of abrasive, its size, and concentration also directly affect the metal removal rate. Applications Drilling the round holes of any shape. Step drilling. Grinding the brittle materials. Engraving. Slicing and broaching hard materials. Machining the glasses, ceramics. These are some of the applications of ultrasonic machining processes. Advantages. This process is used for drilling both circular and non-circular holes in very hard materials like carbide, ceramics, etc. Ultrasonic machining doesn't require heating workpieces. If a workpiece is sensitive to thermal fluctuations, it can be safely machined. It is suitable for both conductive and non-conductive materials. A semi-skilled operator can operate the machine. High accuracy can be achieved. Disadvantages. Low material cutting rate. The process is limited to the machine's surface of a small size. Shorter tool life. If you are new to ADTW, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification to get all the latest video from this channel. And if you like this video, let me know by clicking on the like button.